So before I start this video, I want to tell you something that in the description, I've provided a link from there. You can go and download a zip file, which consists of all the files that are required and the script. If you run that script, it will install all the themes, icons and all. You need not do anything. And uh, there is also an uninstall script, which you can run to uninstall all the themes that will be installed using the installation script. Uh, so let's continue with the video and firstly you need to install some dependencies so as i had shown you earlier and some app apps from there um, make sure one thing that is you need to go to software and updates from there make sure that uh, the universe and the multiverse repositories are selected then click on close and refresh everything so that the source list is updated now go on for the installation let's install gnome tweaks which will help us in applying the theme we can install conkey 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 all jq lua 5.4 and finally curl so these are the things that we need so oops we need to sudo apt install just wait for the installation to complete it won't take much time very few applications that's it done now for the next step head over to chrome and let us just install a conkey theme so the theme name is i don't know how to pronounce it properly uh, for the timing i'm telling sirius conkey theme go to download download the zip file this is it and now for the theme we need to go for And for the theme, we need to go for the Terraform theme. Now, I'll try to make one of the most consistent themes of uh, GNOME. So, we need to edit some of the config files. So, let's go and download the Terraform Midnight version. So, this is the one we need. Download. And I guess it is done. Now, let us head over to GNOME Shell Extensions. From here, go to GNOME Shell Extensions and search for. Okay. First, Make sure to uh, enable the extension for your browser. So click on add to Chrome, add extension, done. Now for the next step, just refresh this page and you might run into this problem. And in order to get rid of that, just uh, install another package that is Chrome GNOME Shell. This is it, done. Refreshing the page will solve the problem. And there you go. Now head over to user themes and apply that. that click on install that's all we need for the time being. now close the browser we will get back to the browser for the icon packs and more head over to downloads and there we find all the packages that we need okay after the downloads are done you can see all of them are in the downloads folder um, let's open the theme file folder uh, the zip file the compressed tarball and head over to home press ctrl plus h and you will be able to find find a dot themes folder if you don't find the dot themes folder not a problem you can create one create and also create a dot icons folder now these will basically store the themes and icons for your user the current user that is there now head over to the terraform midnight head over to gtk3 change open the gtk css file and i have noted some changes that i would like to make in the css file now the first thing that we need to change is let us search for header bars oops bars this is it now here we need to change the background color which is this one now change the background color to let's change it to 8 140 124 and leave the last one as one that is it and the next change that we will be doing is um, basically we are going to change a color which has been applied to let's search for gtk secondary gtk secondary carrot color this one needs to be changed and we are going to change in this color to something else change all of the occurrences of this color so there are 83 occurrences we are going to go here find and replace find this replace it with um let me see what is the color code that is 
zero eight eight C seven C replace all. Okay, I guess it was replaced. Let me just see how many occurrences are there. Eighty three. That's it. Done. Now save this file. Now head over to themes. That is on tweaks. Go to appearance legacy applications and choose the terraform midnight and as you can see the bright green color has been replaced with the dull green one which looks really uh, much better now head over to preferences in your text editor and change the edit this one the font and colors option you can choose any other theming so that things don't look bad like the one it was previously so this looks much better close it there are several themes to choose from you can choose anyone that's it finally the changes are done now for the next step you can also head over to your downloads folder and let's go for the conkey theme head over to home open the dot config folder create a new folder or a directory with the name of conkey let's open this and now you just need to drag and drop that's it done now right click open in terminal dot slash start dot sh oops dot sh and there you go as you can see the they don't really look good and this might not be a problem in your computer it is a kind of graphics related problem but even if you get this error you can definitely try to make uh, it correct or uh, fix it so a couple of changes we need to do for the first things let's kill all conkey that's it now head over to fonts and install all the fonts click on install installed now head over to material install done now open the rubik zip open these two fonts and install them done install install now after the fonts installation they're all fit and fine now head over to the cyrus to uh, cyrus.conf open this let's close the css file and search for okay we did not search just set this as true i had also shown uh, this in my previous video that setting this as true will solve the problem save it done the next few steps are easy you just need to head over to scripts here is the weather.sh and uh, you need to do a bit of changes here you just need to open the website the, this url open this url and now just search for a location for mine in my case it is kolkata open kolkata copy this and replace the city id here save it done now for the next step sorry let's open the um, these two files and we need to do a bit of editing here that is in cyrus2.conf for your wi-fi you just need to copy this copy to search for the id just search for id okay i don't think we will be able to get it like that just do a normal search here you can see the wi-fi things are related just change these two for the down speed and up speed to the wi-fi name that you're currently using and save the file that's it done now we need to launch the start.sh file and everything should work properly as you can see they are working properly and you can also see the download speed and the up speed of the wi-fi which is currently selected let's see if uh, anything changes so you can see the download and upload speeds are being shown here for the packets that are getting received and sent from the terminal using the ping and you can also see the uh, graphs over here for cpu and ram and then there is the storage so a couple of options are available there also you can see the win uh, music that is getting played now there is a problem with the time though it is a bit shifted to the left side so we can fix that we can just open cyrus.conf and set the x and y values set the y values set the x value to around 80 let's see where it goes with 80 okay it looks nice let's uh, go with 100 okay that looks good now let's increase it to 150 okay now this looks much better done so for the next step i would like to install the not install but apply the wallpaper and for applying the wallpaper i need to connect to the pen drive 
So let's see if it works or not, because often the pen drives are not detected by the computer. Okay, it works. So let's open the new volume. And here we have uh, three wallpapers for applying. One of them is material green. Another one is made for uh, Ubuntu. You have a small jellyfish there. And lastly, we have the Ubuntu logo. Now, these are also available for other uh, operating systems like Arch, Fedora, Manjaro, many others are supported. So I have made uh, them. I am putting the link in the description. You can definitely go and check them out from there. Okay, so for us, I'm going to apply the first one, which is this one. Let's set this as the wallpaper, which really goes with the current theming experience. Looks really nice, right? Okay, for the next step, we just need to head over to settings and go to appearance and we need to do a bit of editing let's change this panel mode to dock mode reduce the icon size to make it a bit small and then we just need to turn on auto hide dock that's all we need to do so when you put this here the dock gets retracted back and the entire theming looks really nice now for the icons let's head over to gtk icons full icon themes let me search for um, something that is related to Google because they are the one making the material icons. These are not completely material icons but this is a flat design which is inspired by the material design. So uh, let's try and apply this. Download, open this. Now we need to open files, head over to dot icons, just drag and drop this. That's it done. Now open the tweaks application oops it's already open close it open tweaks appearance use the icon pack i guess a, a green version of this would have suited very well but anyway something is better than nothing so yeah looks nice or you can also search for something that is related to green so you can see if anything is like that let's see full icon themes see if Cora is available in a green version. Cora is not a kind of material uh, theme. They are available in green so you can go for them if you don't like the icon style which I'm currently using and if you don't want to base your icon themes on something that is material you can go for the Cora. This is another option but I think for uh, the current theme that I'm using Sticking to the material theme, uh, material icon theme just makes more sense. Let's head up to dot icons, copy and paste the Cora green icons. Now just open tweaks. Okay, tweaks is already open. Quit, reopen tweaks, head over to appearance, change the icons to where is Cora? Cora, okay. So there are three versions of Cora. Anyway, let's move them to dot icons. Close this, reopen tweaks appearance change this to Cora green so this looks much more consistent with the current theming so i'm going to use this one and also i like the Cora icons more than the material theme but if you want to strictly uh, adhere to the material theming you can definitely go for the other one now let's see if we have a good shell theme okay we're using a current theme right so let's see if we get any shell theme with the current theming nope we don't get any shell theme but there are some yaru of alternatives uh, so there is a prussian green version so you can go for the prussian green dark edition which is basically the one that is used by default in ubuntu now this also looks very much consistent with the current theming so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one